Okay, so I am interior designer Lionel Sanchez and welcome to another video installment regarding the TOS or table of specifications for the interior design licensure examination. So as with previous videos, we've been establishing that it is a uh, duty of the uh, Board of Interior Design according to Republic Act 10350 to uh, prepare and adopt the issue the table of specifications and syllabi of the subjects for examination. So why is this one important? So that the examiners will know what they are going to um, study. So also uh, we know that uh, the subjects for interior design licensure examination is, uh, of course, you have interior design, uh, furniture design and construction, materials of design and decoration, history of arts and interior design, interior construction and utilities, color theory and professional practice and ethics. So for this video, we will be discussing about uh, color theory. So uh, let's proceed with the color theory TOS. So uh, as I have been mentioning in the previous videos, the interior design uh, subjects uh, shall comprise of 100 points for each uh, subject. And also it is uh, important to note that the exam is uh, designed according to the revised Bloom sex taxonomy wherein you have different uh, modes of difficulty. In the easy mode you have remembering and um, uh, for the uh, moderate mode you have uh, analyzing and for the uh, difficult mode you have uh, an uh, sorry for for the difficult mode, you have analyzing, uh, evaluating, and uh, creating. So again, for the easy mode, you have remembering and understanding. Okay. Uh, for the uh, color theory uh, licensure uh, subject in the licensure examination, you have three uh, scopes, specifically the color wheel and the color schemes derived from it as applied in interior design. So in the exam, you will be required to name the basic color schemes, uh, such as uh, uh, what an, uh, an analogous color scheme is, what a complementary uh, color scheme is, um, and uh, all other uh, color schemes as applied to in interior design. And also to translate the terminologies used in uh, color theory, um, such as uh, color temperature and all other uh, terminologies that are pertinent to um, interior design with regards to color theory. And the third um, scope would be the socio-psychological and cultural suitability of color combinations and proper distributions required in a given interior space. So uh, under uh, this one uh, in 2.1 is to identify the colors for specific socio-cultural beliefs and practices um, maybe uh, uh, color pertaining to religion, um, to uh, different regions in the world, um, and of course, uh, cultures. And then to experiment with colors for social, uh, psychological functions and interiors. So uh, for this portion, um, it could be all about um, different studies uh, with regards to the psychological uh, impact of color in interiors okay and then the third objective which is color and material board reflected in the overall scheme and materials in the interior space so for this one of the three exams where you'll be required to um, uh, create or uh, which is under the difficult mode it will comprise uh, 30 points of the exam wherein in the exam you'll be rendering different um, interiors uh, or you will propose a color scheme showing the material finishes in an interior space through a rendered perspective. And then lastly, to match the color hues with the equivalent in different color systems such as uh, the CMYK, the RGB, and the Pantone. And then the distributions for the number of points are in this chart, which I will uh, link uh, down below for you to refer to. Okay. So thank you and see you in the next uh, video installment for the TOS4, the Interior Design Licensure Examination. Goodbye.